Bree Tiesi is here. Did hey I say guys. good? Yeah, you said okay, it. Okay, yay. I worked on it all night. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you here for Fashion Week? I am. I am. What'd you come for? I came for a few things, and I feel like I really overcommitted. Um, I definitely, this was a different experience for me. <laughs> Have you been here before for Fashion Week? No, I haven't. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I modeled when I was younger. I did. I actually walked in some shows, but I've never attended. So this was a different side. It was. It was so fun tell though. me, did, did you? What did you like about it? Um, I mean, I love the fashion. That's literally it. The yeah. the doors, everybody arguing, the lines, yeah. all that stuff. I I can miss all that. Yeah. But as for the actual shows, they were epic. Um, did you sit next to any cool people? <sighs> Just my baby daddy. Does it, oh, he came with you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. For Fashion Week, I feel like people should know that it's not as, like, glam as it looks. No, I don't, I don't feel like it is. Right? And you can go either way. It yeah. can be super over the top or it can be kind of Yeah. Yeah. But it is, like, a lot of people and a lot of, like, getting through the crowds. Do you yes. have, like, any, like, social anxiety or anything Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. You do? Yeah, I usually hide behind Amanda. So, or somebody. <laughs> so I'll just be like, okay, let me know when we're going. Like I would this. never guess that with you. I just rather not if i don't look you in the eye then i don't have to engage yeah <laughs> so you're not into small talk no so let's wrap this no. up no, yeah, right, now, done. <laughs> <laughs> okay so if you guys don't know brie she's the latest addition to selling sunset we saw you last season yep and you killed it thank you like people come on as new you know cast members and we're hesitant to like accept yeah. we're like hey why'd they bring them on what's their deal and i feel like you were people liked you right away I was I was surprised and you were thankful, but yeah, I thought for sure they were gonna rip my ass apart. For sure. I was like, okay, well, I am who I am. You either hate me or you love me. So I wonder how audiences work. Cause I can see that too. Like you're like, yeah. okay, I can I come on strong. Mm-hmm. I have this big personality. Yeah. And it worked so in your favor. Like people were team Brie. People, the cast really connected with you, aside from maybe like yeah, I was except for like one, you know, <laughs> like one. One, one, but like everyone, I was Team Brie. I remember being like, I like her. I was like, she's a little bitchy, yeah, but we like it. It's like the good bitchy. <laughs> she's got a lot of bitchy, yeah, um, but it was the good kind. Yeah, no, I mean, it was an interesting environment to come into. I mean, all the girls are amazing, except you know, but <laughs> I mean, you. It is what it is. I mean, it's, it's a her problem, not me. So, yeah. I mean, otherwise, the show's a good experience, and the girls are all amazing. How did you get on? Um, I actually got asked to do the show a couple years ago prior. I think it was, like, season – I want to say it was, like, two. It was a long time ago. And I just was not in a space privately, my own private life. And I was going th- about to go through a divorce. And, like, it was just, like, a lot going on. I was like, eh. Was did you have your real estate license then? I did. Um, I wasn't really using it. I've had my license since 2016 is when I started to get it. I think I got it in 17. And I just wanted to have it on the back end because I had so many clients and different things and I was giving them to other people. And I was like, why am I passing off this oh, commission? Oh, you like, weren't making the commission. Yeah. So I was like, I should just get my license and make the commission. So then I ended up just having it. And then I did start using it. Um, when I was about 30, I was like, okay, I have to get my shit together. I can't be a model. I can't do X, Y. And Z, I need like a real career path and like what do I really want to do and that was the best thing for me that really kind of pulled all my clients together and all my connects and everything that I had while you work you know smarter not harder so yeah. I was like this is perfect so you were making money off of it before selling sunset yeah definitely okay so the first time around it didn't suit your kind of vibe it's just here and there it's not it wasn't like a full-time thing it would be like clients that came in for the summer and you know you'd put them up for three to six months or yeah. you would do something like I do a lot more like investment side now. So having my license, I at least get the referral um, versus before I didn't get anything. Yeah. So um, legally, you can't just like pay people out. Right. right. (laughs) And then I was like, I need that. Like, did you, because like the show gets some flack for like, how real is it? Are Mm -hmm. you really like selling real estate? So like, People done deep dives on like agents and their listings and everything. Yeah, but they've also done a deep dive on me and it's not, (laughs) but they're not accurate. And in Mm. all fairness to them, if you do sell something off market and it's not on MLS, like it doesn't, let's say count, like they're like, Mm. it doesn't come up, but you can see all the articles you can see. Like, it's not like I don't have my paperwork. It's like, yeah. Okay. So it's, there is things like that where it's kind of like, I get what you guys are saying, but it's not actually accurate. And the like, people also say that the listings are fake sometimes. Well, I don't know anything about other people's listings. I just know about your listings. <laughs> so you come on the show. People love you. Did you know straight away? Did you think for a moment, oh, this is going to be smooth sailing? Heather's nice. Chriselle's nice. Like, did you anticipate having like beef? 
Not really. I mean, yes, I definitely thought people were going to have something to say about my lifestyle, but I didn't know it was going to go that left. For yeah. Sure. I didn't expect that. Yeah. It wasn't a good look for people that watch. <laughs> you obviously know that Chelsea yeah. had an issue, but it did feel a bit like forced in a way because it was yeah. like, why do you care? It's okay to have like interest. Like what's the tea, yeah. you know, that kind of vibe or like talking to you about it. But it was interesting that she had, I kept on screaming at the TV, like, why do you care what she does so much? I feel like most people yeah. said the same thing. Yeah, I still don't know what, why she cares. I Do you have some any guesses? No. Honestly, I don't get I don't get a storyline. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, for me, it's just like, if you care that much, you got nothing going on in your own life. That sounds like a personal problem because it was it was the way she shifted it towards the end is where I was like, oh, okay, so now we're trying to we're trying to change our narrative here. Now it didn't work for you. So now you want to change it up and say, it came stemmed from my past. Oh, uh, like, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sure. Did you watch the show before going on? I I did. I watched it probably the season two when they asked me. Um, and then I caught up when I was considering coming back on. And what did you think of the cast? I mean, I love all the girls. Yeah, yeah. even before. Yeah, I loved all the girls. Um, I actually thought that like Chelsea and Christine, those would have been girls that I would have actually clicked with more. Uh-huh. Um, so that is why that's You that's think you and Christine could have clicked? Oh, I think it could have went either way. Yeah, but yeah, I think we could have yeah, clicked. Yeah. I mean, we've talked. She's been nothing but sweet. But um, yeah, you know, it goes either way with it our personalities. <laughs> and then, so the, the girls you're closest with, Heather. Super close with Heather. I'm close with Emma and Chriselle. Yeah. And I'm cool with all the other girls, but like I Nicole. just clicked with them a little more. What did you think of the Nicole Chriselle drama? I played the fifth. Really? <laughs> it's not that. I just, I just thought it was ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it I was don't... more ridiculous than, than, than Chelsea's issue with you. Yeah. I just <laughs> felt like you can't come and attack someone and think nothing's going to happen. And I was, I was proud of Chriselle. I was like, finally say yeah. what you want to say. So, right. I mean, she got her voice. Yeah. But Nicole also got what she asked for. So I know you yeah. didn't feel, did you feel a little bad for her? Like when the backlash got real? No, no. I, well, you mean online? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like when people start acting crazy and like death threats and threatening yeah. you and shit, it's like, okay, guys, no, it's like, also relax. like, are you a loser? Do you have a life? Literally, like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing that you want? You want to kill someone because they're arguing with Chrishell <laughs> about like a list thing? Yeah. yeah, it's like that's where I'm like, all right, it's going a little too far. But as for everyone's response, I feel like it's warranted. Did you get? Well, I saw that you got a lot, a lot of love. Did you? Did it go both ways? Did you feel oh, some course. hate too? No, of course. I mean, it's not. I don't feel like I personally got hate. I think just my situation, which is expected, um, and which is fine. It's people's opinions, um, and that doesn't like move any bones in your body. No, I I've love hear- that. I've been hearing this forever. Like, <laughs> so let's talk about you, your like upbringing, where you're from. I found out you're from Calabasas, yeah. which is like wild. Is it? Why? Because, like, we know the Calabasas is, like, Kardashians. And took over. I think we don't, like, no, like, no, people are born and raised there from, like, regular families. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not only the Kardashians taking over. I mean, I would definitely say there's a lot of, like, we grew up with, like, a lot of celebrity kids. And, like, you know, it's definitely an amazing area to live in. But there's not a lot of, like, born and raised LA How did people. your family end up there? Um... I guess my, my mom's been there. My grandma's been there. They've yeah. been there forever. Yeah. My grandparents came from Chicago and just ended up in Encino and then ended up in Calabasas. So you grew up with like famous kids? Yeah. Anyone we know? Um, I mean, well, even the Kardashians my sister went to school with, but I mean, I'm trying to think of like who, um, we went with, uh, Paulina Gretzky. We went with, um, we had a lot of child stars. Oh my God. What's his name? Um, even Stevens? Right no, not even Stevens. I'm like the cute little kid that was wearing the glasses. And uh, you know I'm oh, about. from um, Tony, Toby Maguire. Yes. Oh, okay. And then Jonathan something, I think. Yes. Yeah. Lip Nikki. Oh. Lip Nikki. Yes. How's we he went doing? to school together. He was really sweet. He was yeah. great in school. I haven't seen him since, but. Did you move out of Calabasas? No, I still, I just, after high school, I was like, goodbye. <laughs> you left. I just came and had my own life and stayed away from everything like high school or any of those friends. Like, I don't really. 
I talked to maybe like one person. Really? Yeah. Did you move to LA after I, high school? I did, but then I keep coming back. I feel like I go to LA for a couple of years and then I'll move back to Calabasas. Oh and yeah? Then, yeah. And now where are you where are you? And at? Then, now I bought a house. I'm right in Woodland Hills, Calabasas border, yeah. It is far from like LA. I love it. You love being yeah. far. And then, and then, I, then you come in for things that you need to come in exactly. for. Exactly. Otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. Now I got a kid, I gotta keep my ass at home. <laughs> do you have siblings? I do. I have a sister. Are you close? Yeah. We were. We're not as close anymore, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to know, did you always want to be in the business? Because, like, you've been, like, bottle girl, right? A little bit Vegas, a little bit this. Like, yeah. you know a lot of people from that life. Like, did something draw you into the industry? And I think just being born and raised there, you kind of fall into it. Mm. I think that I just, no matter what, I just kept ending up back in it. So I was like, fuck it. I might as well embrace it at this point because really? I'm here. I tried to leave. I literally was like, I'm done. I'm going to do bottle service and I'm going to do real estate and I'm going to get out of it. And that was kind of the transition where I really thought I was going to leave that whole industry. And I was like, I want to have a baby and I just get out of all of it. And then I ended up doing the show. So I took it the other way. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You really did take, it was like either yeah. that or that, either mm -hmm. I'm leaving or I'm like blowing it up. Exactly. <laughs> so you, but you started as a model. How did that happen? Yeah. Um, I got recruited by a rockstar energy drink when I was like 17 and they made me their spokes model and I worked for them for like two years and just starting with them I ended up getting so many things I got Maxim and I got all this stuff that just kept falling into my lap and so I kind of just leaned into it and then when I got I think I was like 20 23 or 22 I started hearing about bottle service and I was like you can make how much working two days a week how much can you make you can make I was working at the pools making 150k working six months out of the year two days a week crazy money a couple hours I would fly in fly back it was amazing two days a week working yeah. 150k in six months yep that is wild mm, it's ridiculous I know <laughs> yeah so you just work weekends and then you had the rest of your time did so. you save up I did yeah and it was honestly it was one of the best jobs I ever had because I could study and get my real estate license I could do other things I could oh, so you of, didn't live in Vegas no I would just fly back and forth I lived there for a little bit I lived there like six months eight months and I was like get me the fuck yeah out I was of gonna here. ask you because like, I hate Vegas awful so I was like how did you live there but no. mm -hmm. it wasn't like a full-time no, thing I couldn't do it um so you've been super open about your surgeries and procedures mm -hmm. and things which yeah. is so cool of you because in Hollywood it's like I never I know it's very Did strange. anything. <laughs> yeah, they're like, no, I just look like this. <laughs> yeah. But does it frustrate you? Because I feel like mm -hmm. when you do type your name in, like, a lot of things come up. Like, yeah. what she had done, like, before and after. Like, does it bother you? No. Not no? really. It's like, I mean, everyone's so curious about it. I mean, they're curious about a lot of aspects of my life. So I just feel like it comes with the territory. But I'm, I'm never going to not be honest about that. Because I just feel like in this day and age with all these kids and all this stuff, like, it really – fucks up people's mental health so to sit here and just like blatantly lie to you I feel like it's just like born like this it, yeah like you just, I just look like this like no bitch you but did but what it. did you have done because I don't feel like you had that much I mean a little bit goes a long way though don't okay. get me wrong so <laughs> I mean I'll try anything though like any laser yeah. any whatever like cool sculpts like any of that stuff I was like yes I'm yeah. game um but I, had... I get numbing cream put on I run out I get scared me really I'm just, like such a pussy oh I'd never put any numbing <laughs> what none and I was like fuck it just do it oh really yeah. no so they smeared me like a bagel once for some like PRP really and like I had like this much like and I was all numb and I was like having a panic attack I was like I can't do anything from PRP no from the numbing cream oh <laughs> So you didn't even get the PRP. I didn't get the PRP. I ran out. So yeah, I'm I not. I, so I support. Okay. I'm just, I'm too scared. Yeah. Then you probably wouldn't like any of these. I wouldn't yeah, like any no. of these I things. Mean, I don't think PRP is bad at all. I actually really like PRP. Do you get numb though? I, no. Oh, okay. So maybe I could do it without the numbing. Probably not suggested. No? No. I do a lot of things without because I feel like my skin reacts to the numbing. Uh -huh. So I just would rather take the pain than, than the numbing cream. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not pleasant. And the other thing people don't know, your hair was blonde. I feel like that's a big difference. Like, this yes. is very Megan Fox, like the black hair. So, I, well, that was an accident. <laughs> the black hair? Yeah. Megan Fox. The black, well, no, not <laughs> Megan Fox. So, she could be an accident any day, but no. Um, she is looking for a girlfriend. Uh, well, per hi, I'm here. <laughs> if you need me, I'm, I'm willing. So, no, I actually went to get my hair colored, and a stylist I've been going to forever somehow dyed my hair like orange red. 
And I actually ended up losing my job with UFC. I was supposed to be a ring girl that night, and they literally let me go. Because your hair was so bad? Because my hair was red, and in my contract, you're not allowed to change your appearance. Yeah. So that was fun. So then you did black? So then I just, they were like, there's nothing we could do about it. Like, you're just going to have to go darker because we'll you burn your hair out of your head. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it's such a good look for you. So I what is it, it naturally? It's like a strawberry blonde. What? Yeah, my son is strawberry blonde. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his... Curly hair and mixed features and strawberry blonde hair. So what do you say to haters that are like, why are you getting all this done? Like, what what would you, you don't care. You guys are just miserable. Maybe you should get something done and feel better. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) And what does your family think of like the celebhood of it all and you being known and like who your baby daddy is and the show and everything? Honestly, I think at this point, my family doesn't really say much about anything. They kind of just let me do me. They've kind of figured out at this point, but they don't know what I'm going to do next. Yeah. So they just Did they watch live. the show? Yeah. Oddly, even my dad watched the show, who is so like not into this or involved in any way, wants no part of it. So it was funny to hear my dad being like, yeah, I'm that Chelsea girl. I don't like her. <laughs> I feel like they would be proud watching the show. Yeah, like no, you were. did. You kicked ass on the show. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and somehow like you are very private about your like dating life. And yeah. that's why I heard that you didn't do like other shows in the past. Yeah. I've been asked to do every dating show. I've been asked to do all of it. I was like, no, thank you. And I actually wasn't even going to come out with my partner and situation, but I ended up getting aired out on my gender reveal which was like just close friends. So after that came out, I was like, wait, you okay. meant to put your gender reveal on close friends, but you put it on no, public? No, no, no. I got aired out like by TMZ or a paparazzi or oh. some person that sold us out. But like I never had planned on coming out with even my personal life. No one, really? had, no one had even known about my relationship until that day at our pregnancy, pregnancy announcement, as they call it. What do you mean? I never announced of who my child's father was or that I was pregnant, somebody else sold my story. What? At what point in your pregnancy? The day of my gender reveal. Oh, wow. Yeah. So... Do you know who it is? No, we still don't. I mean, I think... Did you try to, like... It's a weird situation because it was literally just my family and my closest friends, but we did rent a house, and it was on the beach, and it was, like, a private house, and... The photos are literally from the top of Santa Monica, so I think it was the people we rented the house from because how would they know exactly what bluff to get on to, like, shoot it? It was, like, a weird – but then again, you know, you can't point any fingers because we don't actually I mean, I I mean, I just did, but, you know, (laughs) I did it. But (laughs) Well, well, I did see that you and and your – the father of your child, you're going on vacations, you're doing collab posts on Instagram. What's happening lately? Same old. Same, same old, same old. Yeah. It does always. seem like more exclusive or like intense from the from Instagram. Um, no, I think that we just are both in entertainment and we both love doing content and we understand what we do and where we're at and we lean into it and we play with it and it's Is fun it your, for us. Who's it, who brings the content ideas? Uh, well, I like TikToks personally, so I'll find like little TikToks and fun stuff. He's more of like a skits person and like that's right. more his like acting course I had and yeah. I'm like... Okay, sure. Whatever you want. So you lean in. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. That is funny. All of a sudden yeah. I saw, I was like, okay, they're leaning in. And he's down yeah. to, like, make fun of himself and everything. Always. It's Nick. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. How did you meet? I met Nick when I, years ago, over almost a decade. Um, and we met through a mutual friend, um, Dave. Davo is his name. And he basically was like, I want you to come with me uh, to the show. I want to introduce you to someone. I ended up going to Wild and Out, like, way back in the day. And he introduced me to Nick and then um we went to dinner and started talking and I ended up doing the show like a couple years later so were you did you start dating at that point or only when you did the show yeah we started talking immediately so we've been oh my god so it's been like 10 years yeah wow yeah did you see yourself having a baby with him we talked about it yeah but I also was like I want to live my life I want to travel I want to do this I want to do that and it wasn't until I really got to like my 30th birthday where I was like okay I feel like I've done everything I want to do I feel like I'm ready now I feel like I've like so you wanted to be a mom yeah yeah and now you have baby legendary who came up with the name I came up with legend he's like no legend's just regular oh it's too basic it's It's like Michael exactly I gotta add a (laughs) flair so it became legendary which I love so um yeah we actually got a tattoo yesterday of his name so I got it on my neck oh I love it yeah 
So did he get it too? Yeah, so he got it on his chest. I got it on my neck. So did you get legendary, just leg- legendary love or legendary? It's funny. We were gonna get legendary love. And we were trying to make it like a crossword puzzle type of style, but I was like, this is too much. It's, my, too it's, it's, it's gonna like his go name's already so fucking long. You could so do like, legendary heart. Right there, yeah. And like the heart is like love. I should add to it at some point, but yeah, I got it on the side. So I I also read about like your past relationships and how you did get married in the past, Uh right? And you said that you weren't even into getting married. Yes. I just felt like there's just so much responsibility that came with being married that changed the dynamic that is unnecessary to me. Like I feel like a piece of paper does not decide that I love you or that we've, you know, committed to each other or any of those things. And I think that it's just this heavy weight of like tradition that we're supposed to do. And I'm like, it just doesn't feel right so if I'm unhappy or you know you change up or something's different or we grow apart or whatever it is like why is it so frowned upon that like we're we move on I don't know yeah I feel like there's just so much to it that I was just like I don't really want to be tied down but you did it yes I did I did do it So how do you explain it I mean it was really important to him and his family and their values and you know it was more of a him thing to be completely honest yeah would you get married again no no, no, I don't need that. You I really that. like, and I never had a wedding. Like, I never did any of that. I just, really? no, I just don't. I'd rather buy a house or invest in something than spend a hundred something thousand dollars on a I mean, freaking that's cheap, day. I think. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you're right. Like you I'm like, sorry, more right, millions. <laughs> on like Legendary's uh, first birthday. This, this is probably true. <laughs> I mean, I, but see, I was like, oh my God, I feel bad for Noah's, like, my son's, you know, birthday after seeing Legendary's birthday. <laughs> I love legendary birthdays. So <laughs> it fun. was insane. That was good. So, can you tell us anything about, you know, how this works? Like, are can you date other people? Are you dating other people? I mean, it's free will. I can do whatever I want to do. But so there's I just, no jealousy, no like. That is kind of a life to live. Yeah, <laughs> but are you? Because like you are a mom, you do have that whole life. Like. Yeah. Do you feel like you're more into like staying in what do they call it cuffing season? No, I'm like, definitely like in my mom mode, and which is something that I love is I can really focus on my son and I can focus on my career and and we do our own thing how and when we want to do it. So it works for me. Like you get the best of all worlds. I feel like I get the most of all yeah. worlds. Yeah. And if that changes, then that changes. Then cha- and that's the thing that I feel like I, it has changed. I went and got married. I did other, th- you know what I mean? Like I've come in and out. So yeah. for me, I very much do what makes me happy. So, but I just feel like no matter what, he's my human. We like, we get along. He's like my best friend. So it's just like, you feel like nothing could like change that no it doesn't matter and that's what that was what was important to me in having a son like no matter what people say about him he's a good person and he's a good man and he steps up and that's what's important for my child do you feel like you need to defend him like publicly a lot I feel like I catch myself doing that like I do just because it's like I do would do that for anyone that I care about when you're attacking people's character it's just and at some point it's like even on the show, it's like, all right, bitch, I've had it, like, enough. Like, we heard you. We get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's just, like, I don't know. I, I just don't understand why people feel the need to do that. I yeah. mean, it says more about you than it does about him or about me. But it's still one of those things where it's, like, you – instinctually, you're like, oh, wait, hold on a second. Like, I'm not going to let you talk about that in my presence. Right. But at the same time, I was also like, fuck it. We don't really see that much, like, romance on the show. No. Do you get hit on a lot in your DMs and stuff? not really no no definitely not now I used to yeah but now it's like okay okay yeah she's she's, untouchable she's out of commission do you care like does that are you like no I'm in commission no I don't care I mean I could go out and be like hey right (laughs) and then when you came on the show how far like how long ago did you give birth uh six weeks postpartum what yeah I was dying yeah first of all you looked insane thank you how I, the fuck i basically should have still been wearing a diaper and at home but like <laughs> like you really should have been like, let me just put on my helmet laying on top of my diaper and take how my the hell work. did you do that i honestly have no idea like i i think i literally blocked it all out like i don't remember even the first couple of months of filming so that's probably another reason i just didn't even engage i was too tired Oh my God. Yeah. Were you breastfeeding? Yes. I was breastfeeding and pumping while filming. I would pump on the way there. When I was there, we'd have to stop. It was like, and you'd a have whole... to dress up in these crazy outfits. Mm-hmm. You got like your boobs leaking while we're filming. It was real cute. Oh my God. Yeah. 
so the outfits also get a lot of like you know like do you really dress like do they dress like that showing a list saying do yeah. they how is that for you like are you I mean well, we see you dress up today too I was like, like this is me given. at like that is seven you. o'clock in the morning it is you. so <laughs> it is yeah you. I've always been into it I've always been into the fashion I absolutely love it but I I think I'm more of like a monochromatic suiting like so for me I I don't feel like it's that crazy like the ball gown thing isn't really my vibe and then you said that you were like dealing with some postpartum stuff absolutely while filming yeah I think that was literally the hardest thing I've ever done I think that filming kind of helped me in a sense but Mm -hmm. it also pushed me all the way over the edge so helped you in what way that I still had some normalcy as to like me as to like Uh being old me and like you know still getting up and getting ready and still like going to work and like the things that I that made me who I was before I had my son, I still had a little bit of that because my life had changed so drastically. And I think I definitely felt like everybody had, everyone kind of lies to you about motherhood and they don't really tell you how hard it is and everything that comes with it and all of that. And I think that I thought, you know, I snap back immediately, like mentally, physically in all ways. And I had no control over my mental state, over my emotions, over my anything. Yeah, you're fucking crazy the first few weeks after. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, I mean, I think I'm still crazy, but (laughs) it's not the postpartum. But that was just, like, that was intense. And there was, like, you can't stop yourself. And I think that was what makes it so scary is because you're, like, what's wrong with me? Like, nothing's wrong. Like, I have this beautiful baby. And, like, why am I crying? And, like, I don't cry. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, you just can't get it together. And then the pressures of, like, being on TV and being like, what if I say something that just fucking gets me canceled or ruins me yeah. or they edit it in a way that, Did you open you know, up to the girls about, like, what you were dealing with? Not really. Heather, I feel Heather like. Heather was really pregnant. Yeah. I had a lot more one-on-one time with Heather um, during season six. And in, in seven, I'm with the other girls a lot more. Yeah. Um. So... But she definitely, I mean, I probably scared her. It was right before her baby. So <laughs> she definitely oh my God. got the real. Um, but how yeah, did I mean, you deal with knew. it? Like, how did you help yourself? And I think just working out and just trying to keep any normalcy of like my, my past life before I had him. Yeah. Um, and just trying to like, really like allow myself to go through those emotions and try to like figure out and process things a little bit more. But that sleep deprivation is really real. That's something that's just like you can't do anything about that. So like you're breastfeeding, I was co-sleeping and like it was, that was easier for me. But then it's like, you have all this weird mom guilt of people being like, well, why is your kid in your bed? And then everyone's oh like, my God, my you just kid, get heat everywhere. I, I did that. He fell asleep with my boob in his mouth. Yeah. And you know, he'd even be in the car seat and he would cry yeah. and I'd fucking yeah, do my boob. Same. And he's three now and he doesn't breastfeed. Yeah. And like, you know, it all happens. Exactly. So like, fuck anybody judging anything. Yeah. I thought it was easier to co-sleep. Honestly, I would just roll over and right. pull my boob but out. But that's versus... the thing with motherhood, what they don't tell you yeah. is like, when you're making something easier, you're going to pay for it later. Mm. You know? True. You're like, you're making it easier now because yeah. you're like rolling out, but then you're going to have to teach him how to like not sleep right but it's all yeah. so temporary, you it know? It really is. And honestly, my son transitioned really well, so I didn't feel like, I don't know. I mean, I, I miss so that. Cute. I wish I had more time. Right, like, that's I the wish thing. I You're going to want him back in your bed yeah. and back on your boob and, yeah. like, all those things. I wish I could have, like, really indulged in that a little bit more, but I feel like we all say that because we're all going through so much that first year. So I think regardless, I would probably still feel the same. But Would you want more kids? No. Oh, <laughs> really? Like, I I do. Like, I love my son, and I I – I just feel like where I'm at right now in my career, it's already so hard and I have so much guilt about leaving him at all Mm -hmm. and these long film days and then actual work and then balancing anything else outside of that. I just feel like it wouldn't be fair. To the to kids. To, to kids. But you're still I mean, you never know. I mean, yeah. So maybe, maybe So not the, right now. No, not for at least a couple years. Not for yeah. yeah. Cause it is it is really hard and you have help, like Yeah, I do, but it's still like I wanna do it. But I also right. can't be in six places at the same time. So gotta sort that out first. What did you think of um Davina? <laughs> I don't know why the Davina thing is interesting to me because I do think she's a nice girl. Okay, no. Yeah, we're not vibing. No, I just no because she became she got like demoted this last season. Yeah. Did you did people prep you like give you kind of the hierarchy of who's who or no, not so really. you have no idea? Did you have any conversations with her? 
No. <laughs> Not really. I didn't see her the, the whole time. The whole time you didn't see her. I think we had one office day that she was there, and I think that's it. And what about Amanda? Did you – are you close with her? I love Amanda, yeah. You do? Yeah. So with her whole hospitalization, everything she went through, yeah. were you Yeah, I checked in her? on her, um, but I was also in Mongolia um, during the time that she was going through some of that, so I was just texting with her and stuff, and I actually just saw her the other day at our shoot, so she's, she's, she's doing, doing better. Well. Yeah, she's and doing well. And what did you think of Mary's managing style? Like, she was getting some flack poor for Mary. not being – I know, <laughs> I poor know. Mary. Did you feel bad? Like, what did you think? I definitely it? feel like – Jason should do his own damn job but you know <laughs> I feel like it's a lot for Mary I think it's just I don't know who else would do it I think that's kind of the other thing is that you know between all the other girls it's either you got like a me or you got a Chelsea or yeah. you got you know like Michelle wants no part of it right. Emma's so sweet Amanda just doesn't it really doesn't like and also would I do feel it? like the people that were saying telling her that she's bad at managing wanted her to manage like drama yeah not office stuff it's yeah. like you're so bad at managing you're not taking a side yeah. between nicole and grigel yeah it's like or y'all could just act like adults and take it over there and right manage it yourself <laughs> but it, she seemed kind of sad like when did you see how the season ended like with her and grigel kind of talking yeah it was kind of like dramatic yeah yeah i mean unfortunately for me i missed majority of that drama i miss all the nicole drama i missed that because right, you weren't at the house no i i was really with baby a lot and I was breastfeeding so I was mm. try I missed a lot of that stuff um so anytime I went to work I was just getting yelled at but she I don't really know what happened with all of it I know a little bit but they're good they're good now so what do we have to expect from season seven season seven is gonna oh. come out like spring mm -hmm. I, actually I don't know exactly when it comes yeah. out but I know it's coming out relatively soon it yeah. won't be like two years or anything but yeah it's a as Chrishell called it last year, last season was a dumpster fire. Yeah. I don't even fucking know what to call this season. Oh, stop. Like, it's literally, yeah. When you watched it back season six, did, what did you feel? I felt a lot of things. I think because it was my first season, it's like you're, first you're seeing yourself and you're like, my hair looks like shit. And oh, like yeah. this That's fucking lighting care. is That's awful. That's what I would care about. I'd watch yeah. it on mute, be like, what do I look like? Yeah, literally. First you just look at yourself and then you actually like watch it. Like I would fast forward to my parts and I'd be like, oh no, oh, this is all <laughs> bad. And like, no one told me that my tag was out. Thanks guys. Um, but then watching it, I think it was just, I don't know, like just seeing how they chop everything up and just seeing like everything that happens. Like we film for months, for months. and you don't know what's, what's going to be in it, what's not. And honestly, at some point, I think we just forget what we even did or said or what happened because we film every day. So it's right. like, it was just really, so you have no idea until you watch it. No. And I was like, like postpartum fog. So I was like, I don't know what the hell I did in this show. <laughs> I have right. no idea. So it was definitely interesting to watch. I definitely feel better about it now. Yeah. But hey, they could have made me look insane. I know. Maybe Were I you, was like, insane. Did you send them flowers? Like, like thank you. Yes, thank you. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It was, but it was very cool. I mean, seeing it, I mean, I was really proud of all of the girls and everything. And I just have so much more respect for it. Like a lot goes into Filming, filming a reality a show. show. Yeah, a lot. Would you keep doing it? Do you see yourself getting over it? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, for now, I'm in it. I'm definitely in it. Would you but... go on, like, another reality show like Housewives? I don't – I think I'd be in jail if I went on one of those. Well, I, I mean, the statistics <laughs> are that a lot yeah. of people go to I'm jail. I'm like, I'm not trying to fight with these crazy oh, ladies. Oh, like, yeah. They're crazy. Not... Like, yeah. you're saying they're crazier than selling sunset Yeah, people. like, you throw a drink at me or something, like, it's on. Like, And what about, like, other goals or future things for you? I have so much stuff I want to do right now. I'm like, like what? I'm trying to sort through everything. So I grew up in the acting world, and, like, I wanted to – I really love, like, the stunt side. The so stunt side? Stunt side. I want to do more, like, action and stunt, and I have, like, a passion Stop. for that. Yeah. Well, tell me more. So, like, I, I love to, like, ride horses, and, like, like I was actually just doing something in Mongolia where I was trying to jump out of this helicopter, and they wouldn't let me. Like, I love all these, like, extreme... And I'm scared of them being cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah. She's jumping out of planes. <laughs> like, I'll come hold your hand for, <laughs> for some, some Botox. So, yeah, I mean, I love that side. And then real estate, I'm getting more into the investment side and... and all of that. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. I've always been like that. Yeah. So I'm really trying to figure out what's going to give, you know, generational wealth also by like what makes, gives me a little perk and makes well, me that's, happy. That, I like that you said that because I feel like one of the things that I love that you brought to the show was kind of like, okay, all this talk is about Nick and what is he giving to the kid, whatever. Yeah. And you were like, hello. Yeah. Kind of like, like bringing, too. I'm here yeah. and I want to work and provide. Yes. So where did that like mentality come from? I think it came from my grandma, honestly. Um, 
especially back in her day, she's going to kill me for saying that, but back in her day, like she was supposed to be like at home with the kids and, you know, she went out and worked a full-time job and she got a career and, you know, she's in education and she just went to school while having two kids. And it was just different than what she was like supposed to do. And she just always in our upbringing was like, you do what feels right and what's like, what sits with you and what makes you happy. And like, you don't have to be anything you don't want to be, you know? So it was very like instilled in us that we had enough. I think she just gave us the correct tools to be confident enough and like what we felt and what we wanted to do and not feel like we had to do things because we couldn't, like I couldn't be pressured. Especially yeah. as like, it was impossible. Like it couldn't, I didn't do well, anything. You were a wild I did kid. Not, oh, I was wild. <laughs> I didn't do anything I did not want to do. Now my son is the same and I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah. So yeah, no, I, it's a beautiful quality because like I just, it's hard as women. So it's like, yeah. you know, we but have. But you still have that thing where like you want to provide. Yeah. So I think just seeing her do that. Knowing yeah. My grandpa was very wealthy. Um, So it was, she didn't have to work. Yeah. She wanted to work and she wanted her own thing and she wanted her own career. And like, I think women get lost in, and rightfully so it's a completely all indulging thing to be a mom. Like if, you know, you feel like it's three jobs technically to be a mom. Yeah. So it's like to then pick on another career is right. like, why would we do that? Yeah. But she did. And I saw that she could do it. And I was like, of course I can do it if I want to do it. And I do. So I figure out how to make it work to where I have enough time. Everything's scheduled to the minute where really? I'm with my son. These are my work hours. Do not bother me outside of this. Like when you're with and, him. Yeah. And then I make sure my weekends and all my stuff is like all him. It's adventure time for us. So I make sure I like prioritize it correctly. And when I'm working, you know, he's doing his little classes and he's doing his stuff. So he's he's definitely like. Does he have a nickname? Uh, we call him Ledgy. Budgie. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cute. He's got so many names at this point. Yeah. Like, we call him everything. Um, Lilo was one of them. I feel like Leggy really stuck. Um, I think Nick calls him LLC. Or, um, oh, oh, I was going to, because there's, yeah. L, right, LL. Yeah, or LL. LL. He says LL a lot as well, so he has a lot of names. LLC. Yeah. All his initials. Oh, yeah. my God. If he opens a business, he could be LLC, LLC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly for him. And did he, does he hang out with his, like, half siblings? Yeah, and I think. This is something, too, that we get so much. Like, what's wrong with you guys? You don't let them hang out. Like, they're babies. They they have their whole life. They're going to hang out. Like, what are they – right now, they just kind of stare so at each true. other, which is cute. But, like, let us all just get out of our – postpartum and let the kids like have their natural like integration because like, most of them to... are young aside from they're, like yeah they're the young. Tw Mariah's twins like yeah. most of them are they're babies babies yeah that is true and it's hard enough as a mom to get out the house with all your shit and the kid it's yeah. like like you don't just... need to put them on a like pack and play no we don't need to do all that I <laughs> yeah. mean they all have met each other they all spend time you know that's also um a Nick responsibility I feel like you don't feel point. like it's yours I say it is my responsibility to a certain extent I will always like you know, extend an olive branch and always reach out and I'm always going to be welcoming and, and whatever. But at the same time, it's definitely, I feel like more of a, of a him situation to maneuver. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, good. Well, I'm so happy that you came on the show. Thank you. And I'm Thanks so excited me. for season seven. Oh, I'm scared, but excited. You're scared. <laughs> Cause you know what? You should be scared a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not to scare you just uh -oh. cause you got such a good at it. Oh yeah. So now they're going to come for me at seven. But listen, I may, I may bring my own. I mean, own that's how it is in like the Bravo world. Yeah. I don't know about selling Sunset. I need to look back. Well, I feel Rochelle like has been like surviving season to season. Yeah. Yeah. But Rochelle's they haven't not... turned on her. Chris yeah. Well, you kind of have to do it to yourself yeah. to a certain degree. <laughs> so I may end up doing it to myself. Okay. Well, but let's hope not. We'll see. So you can handle it. Oh, even I can handle you it. Can handle I don't care. But listen, if you come for me. I'm going to give it right back. As I said, okay. I'm a mirror. You want it? Come fucking get it. So <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Thank you so much. <laughs>